It's you. What are you doing here, my friend? I may be Shadow the Hedgehog, the ultimate life form, but it can hurt even for myself to train now and then. But I've noticed something different about myself. I don't know if I should tell you this, but I, I guess that's what friends are for. I may be the ultimate life form, created in a lab, but I am no mere mechanical or even biological organism. I am a fusion of both. Data compiled to create the ultimate life form from the previous experiment, the bio lizard, an immortal creature that lived in the space colony arc. But, Professor Gerald, my dear friend, Professor Gerald, he believed that life shouldn't be all machine. There needs to be some kind of biology. And so, he made a deal with a mysterious creature from the far reaches of the galaxy that resided in a black comet. This race of creatures were called the Black Arms, leaded by a monstrous being known as Black Doom. The Black Arms could shapeshift and use various powers built into them due to their race. I was created for a fusion of technology and DNA of the Black Arms. And I've never felt it stirring until recently, but I've noticed Something within my body. Something within my body is just... It's screaming. Almost like it's dying. Unless... It has a chance to be unleashed. The Black Arms... Were a terrible race of invading aliens... That almost destroyed the planet... I feel their hunger and this power that wishes to be unleashed upon the world. But I thought that if I could unleash it but control it, I could use this wicked, terrible power for good like Maria would have wanted. But I'm trying to take it easy. I don't want to go into full-blown shape-shifting. To be honest, I'm kind of afraid what might happen if this power is left unchecked. But... You speaking to me... has eased my heart somewhat. And I have to thank you. I thought a good idea would be, well, if it's not imposing too much, I could practice one of my new genetic black arms abilities on you. No, no, no. Don't take it that way. I'm not going to unleash tentacles or shapeshift into a devilish creature. I just noticed recently, you haven't been getting a lot of sleep, you've been very restless. I have no need for such functions, I just do it to fit in, but... The Black Arms operated under a hive mind, and using this, Black Arms 
were controlled directly by Black Doom. But they could also latch on to other life forms and control them. Perhaps in a controlled, calm state of mind. I could test it out on you. Don't worry, I'm not going to mind control you or anything. I thought I could go to just one area of your brain using this new power and help lull you to sleep. And perhaps I'll give you something in return. Let's see. I can feel the darkness of the black arms. I can feel its dark energies pulsating. I'm going to transfer that to you. Look around you. You can see the dark aura everywhere in this area. It's fearful, isn't it? So much darkness. It can be scary. Getting close to the existential space known as the void. But I learned that in darkness, you can actually appreciate the light. Look in my hand. Don't worry, I'm not going to hurt you. I understand. I don't sense darkness. In you. This area may be filled with it. But you are shining light. It's okay to be afraid. And you can feel this darkness in the area is almost covering you, but not with malicious intent. It covers you almost like a warm blanket would cover a cold person, shivering, freezing, comforting, warm, relaxing. This doesn't need to be an unpleasant experience. You don't want that, do you? Maria would say it's a joke sometimes. Kill him with kindness. We won't quite be killing you. In fact, what we're hoping to accomplish here, I hope Rouge never finds out. I'm going to leave you feeling better than you were before you arrived. I'm going to remove your fears. I'm going to take all of that away. Feel the sensation of this darkness. Rather than being afraid of it and trying to run away. Yes, with the darkness around this area. Unleashed by my black arms DNA. You feel like you can't run away. Your body, your body is heavy. You can't move. But Listen to my words closely. If you follow my voice, you will realize the darkness is not your enemy. And that warm feeling is just the beginning of other wonderful things to come. I look like this. I'll never hear the end of it from Rouge, but edgy individual, but darkness doesn't necessarily mean evil. If you know how to control yourself, you can bring happiness to yourself from light or darkness, but the choice that you make, who you choose to help, is what matters the most. And I'm going to give you a taste of this power, any doubts, any fears, Anything that would make you feel like you can't accomplish what you want to accomplish. You can do the right thing. 
I believe in you. And this feeling of heaviness that you feel in your body, you cannot move. And yet, why are you no longer afraid? You can't explain it. But I will for you. I'll guide you. I'll purify you, not with light, but darkness. Your body, while it cannot move, feels as light as a feather. In fact, you don't feel like you can't move because you're scared, but rather, you don't want to move because you don't want to escape this wonderful sensation. The darkness can calm your soul. Emptiness, silence, quiet. Not even the most self-destructive thoughts can harm you now. You are being filled with complete focus. Now, listen to me. I will give you the power to activate this whenever you want. Remove all your worries, all of your pain, anytime you wish. All you have to do is look at my hand. I've created something here that's beautiful. It's a miniature black hole. I only discovered recently I can create this thing. We created something from nothing. Just like how you can create happiness by just listening to my words. Listen to me. Let your body relax. Don't even feel embarrassed if you feel a little bit sleepy. It's okay. You're safe. Let the darkness enrapture you with warmth and comfort. As I guide you to a state of complete focus, I'm going to count down from 30 to zero. As I count down from 30 to zero, the lower I go, the more self-assured you'll be. The more confident you'll be, the more happy and relaxed you'll be. And I'll throw this in. A smile will come to your face. Not born of malicious intent, but true happiness. As that is what happens when you truly embrace yourself and believe in your inner power, even in darkness. Are you ready? Ferdy, you are strong. 29, 28, 27, 25. You noticed, I skipped a number. See? see. You can relax but still pay attention. Every time you feel scatterbrained like you can't focus, and yet you can pick up small details like that. That is what it means to be present. Continue. 26. 25. 24. 23. 22, 21, 20. And now, in order to unlock this power under your control, whenever you wish, all I need you to do is obey one last thing for me. Listen to my voice when I count down from 
20 to zero. You're going to feel so much more willing to agree with me. That in order to keep this warm, comforting, happy sensation, you'll be relaxed, happy, ready. You can do this. You're doing so well. 20. 19. 18. 17. 16. 15. 14. 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, all for this power, 6, you'll do anything, 5, feeling more powerful than ever, 4, more yourself than ever. Free. More happy than ever. Two. One. Awaken from the darkness. Tell me everything I need to know and be truly happy. And zero. Tell me. How do you feel? You need not be scared of the darkness. I was afraid of it too when I first discovered this power. But it's a small gift from me to you. To some, I never should have been created. But I can give gifts. I can give something back to this world. I can turn even the darkness itself into a form of relaxation. Help someone still their mind. Help someone believe in themselves. And that is what I think Maria would have wanted. And please, don't tell Rouge any of this.